Yo, 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 this is the No Clans Podcast. I'm Jay. That's my man T over there from the DMV. What's up, T? How you doing today? Man, Jay, I'm good, man. Blessed and highly favored. Hey, y'all, welcome to the No Clearance Podcast, where we're here to discuss our favorite hip-hop albums and some of your favorite hip-hop albums. And we just, we take the hip-hop and then we talk about life. So here we are, Jay. This is episode yes. number one, man. This is episode one. This is episode one. This is it's crazy. We've been talking about it for a minute. <laughs> this has been in the works for a while. In the works so, for a while. Today, here we are, man. It's a, it's yeah. a pleasure to do this with you. Yes, it is. It's always, you know, it's always a pleasure. You know, my boy, you my boy, man. You so what boy. we talking about today, bro? Today, today we're going to talk about the, the highly anticipated Detroit 2 album. We've been waiting for this for years. since It's time. Know, it's, it's, it's been time. It's been two, since 2012. That's eight years. I've done graduate Eight years since college. Detroit. First and off, first then, off, not even just eight. Like, he dropped that last album in what, 2000, 2017? Yeah, it was. I Decided. That's what it's called? I Decided. I Decided. I yeah. Decided. That, one, that album was good. That was, that, was, that, was, that was his second best album. That was, was second, And then you know, what he teased us like last year was single again. Yeah, which was which is good. He had his ex-girlfriend, but is it, is it his ex-girlfriend? Nobody knows. Nobody it, it's knows. really not our bit. I it's ain't not our get business. Nobody we, business like but that. We're here but, to talk about the music. Shout out to Janae, Aigo, and Chalombo. Chalombo was an amazing album. That, we'll be getting to that one soon. Yes, I played Chalombo a lot. At night, that, if you that album was fire. That, that album was played a lot after ten. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you um, so nasty, dog. That didn't even hey, chill, that. brother. I'm so you know what? I can talk about it. Uh, look, <laughs> that's that's what happens when you put you, the ring you on right, it. you right, you right, you right. <laughs> So, All right, man. Let, let's let's talk about let's talk about Big Sean. Let's let's talk about Big Sean in general and how. This man started from being a fire mixtape rapper. And then, you know, he came out, you know, he started a little bit. You know, his first album was good, but like it was okay. It kind of felt like he sold out a little bit. What was think? the first time? When was the first time you listened to him? The first time I listened to him was that freestyle when he had that line. I go line after line after line after line after line after line. Barcode. I lost my shit when I was in high school. I went <laughs> nuts. I was like, that is the fucking most fire thing I ever heard in my life. I went nuts. Man, uh, first time I heard him, he was on his song. Currency was on the joint. It was like three or four rappers on that. And the the one dude was from Cleveland. I'm forgetting his name. I used to love him though. But he was on the song with Currency and he finished that joint off crazy. I was he, like, Okay. Big Sean is known to drop a fire verse. It's crazy He's to think. Drop a fire verse out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, Ho Shut the Fuck Up is one of the best. Yeah. Like, for, intro to that a That gets you hyped at any party and in the club. You go crazy. Everyone's screaming it. Everyone's screaming it. But real, you know what was so deep about that? He said, Ho Shut the Fuck Up. I got way too much of my mental. Like, he wasn't he, just saying this for no reason. Yeah, he wasn't just telling. I got shit on my mind. He wasn't being <laughs> the great into women. He just had a lot in his mind. Girl. The girl was probably chatting in his ear, and he was I just like, I got way mind. too much going on. I like, just to- but we, 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 we move on. We move yes, on. Yes, um, yes. I, we'll, we'll digress. Let's talk but, about his growth. He's grown. We, 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 I mean, we, since, um, since Detroit, since the first Detroit, since the, the, music first Detroit. Is, the music sounds... Totally, he sounds different. Yes, the music yes. sound different. He sound different, but this, it's just you gotta appreciate the growth in, I, in the artist. Yes, we do. We do. We sure do. Cause he, this album, he gets deep. He gets deep. He brings up a lot of issue. He talks about oh my God. losing a baby. He 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 talks about he talks about he don't killing himself. He talks about he talks about he talks about he talks about a lot of a lot of shit. He just gets deep into. It. He talks about the pressure of life. It's really not one bar wasted. Like it's no, not no real stunting. It's like every everything is like uh just give him giving out advice or uh just he sounds like a prophet on the yeah, album. Yeah, he's for real, for real. like he's he's reached one of them songs, with this album. Harder than my demons. We'll get into this end. I got a whole message. Yeah. I, I could have made a whole preacher message behind harder than my demons. Get it, get it. Give it, Brothers, give me something. Are you sure you want it? Give me a little something. Give me a little something. Brother Jalen, you need to understand that the hook says, God got me working harder than my demons. Mm. 
Let's break this down. Break it down. Break it down, one, brother. For <laughs> one, my brother, he says, God got me working hard. Okay? That means God's just not going to do nothing for you. God going to work through you. This ain't nothing that you going to just That's see. God just ain't going to slap a miracle in your face. No. Mm. No. He going to use you as the blessing. He said, use you. Use me, God. Use me. You see what I'm saying? And then I, he said, and then he says, harder than my demons. Do you understand that he's saying he is his own enemy? He's fighting. He has to fight himself he every day. He has to day. fight himself. And he needs God to do to fight himself. Mm. Mm. Y'all just really don't want me to get <laughs> deeper into this. The Do biggest problem in your life is you. You need to get over whatever you got going wrong. Mm, yes, yes. Can't um, nobody else stop you from getting to your destiny. Like they Inside say, yourself. the only person going to stop yourself is yourself. You only, you're you only going to get in your own way. You need to stop getting out your. You need to get out your own way and keep on going. That ain't that, that the truth. I hear that more than I need to. You got to work harder than your demons. The mm. Bible says press towards the mark. When you press, that means something is there's a weight that's trying to weigh you down, but you have to yes. press. Yes. I'm done. That's my oh. message for today. I, I, I think I, that's I, I, I'm gonna I'm stop right there, brother. I I think you might have started a thing. We might have to do that every episode. I, we might have to. We, we might, might have, have to, to do put that, that every in. episode. Well, well let's, let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about Ty Dollar Sign and yeah, your love for him because you had something hey. real important to say about Ty, Ty Dollar Sign the other day, and look, man, let the people know. Look, man, Ty Dollar Sign is the true uh, vision of what a, a, a strong black man should. Be. <laughs> <I> <laughs> and I'm not talking about. Route, okay. I, I'm not talking about his looks. I'm, I'm I'm really talking if you if you take his music, you take the way he features on other people's songs. You got to appreciate the fact that he does so little, yet he does so much. This you man understand? is willing. This man this man goes on someone else's song. I don't even think he makes his own music, to be honest. I don't even know. I can't remember all oh, oh, Ty Dolla Sign exclusive. It's been a while exclusive. since we've heard a Ty Dolla Sign man, album. This man hops on anyone's song and just makes it go to Bam. another level. Body language. Another level. Let's, let's get into body language. Body language. Uh, this man sang the hook twice. And that's the only part that's stuck in my head. Yeah. Besides that Janet Aiko part. Besides Janet Aiko talking about she she's nasty. so horny. I got it. She, she nasty. Besides, she, like, Ty, I mean, he really, like, he really impressed me on Jaded, on Drake, yeah. on Scorpion. Like, him just doing the background as the Jaded. And I really don't even care about Drake's verse. I yeah. just be in the car. Huh? <laughs> Like, bro, that's all. That's all I really want to say. Like, I don't know what it is. But you gotta appreciate. He could just be like, "Look, brother, this your song. Just let yep. me put my little touch on it. I ain't finna take your spot. Let me give you a blessing. That's what he's saying. Exactly. He, that's uh, what it's all about. He just comes out, drops a drops a fire hook, fire fire verse. Fire. He, he he does the chorus on almost every song that's on the radio. Damn near. If it. If he does, if he does the chorus, it's gonna be on the radio. Yo, pretty much every, at least every album I've listened to this year, he's been on. Twenty nineteen, he, he's been on. It. He's been on it. He's that man work. That's my fucking hardest man, working man in show business right now. I don't you, you, know that besides point. Kevin Hart and maybe in music, he's the hardest working man. But this man, let me tell you, shout out to Ty. Man. And let's talk credit. about. I'm gonna say it now. Let's talk about. You said Nipsey had the best verse. I think Are we Wale had this? the best verse. Yes, you we want to get into, into this. this. Who had yes. the best feature? No, no, we're not talking about the best feature. I'm just gonna oh, say best it verse. Up. This, best this, verse on the album. This verse, this ver best verse on the album. I'm gonna say it. it's a controversial pick. Everybody loves Nipsey. Everybody loves him. But you know, Wale had the best verse on the whole entire album, feature wise. Feature wise, a best verse. All right, that's, now before that's how I'm let me let me let me start by saying this. Did you listen to the whole cipher? I listened to the whole cipher. Did you listen to the whole Friday night cipher? Yes, I listened to the whole Friday night cipher. 
So you gonna tell me Wale versus Benny Royce? Wale versus Benny M. <laughs> Everybody's versus better than M's. <laughs> Eminem's no, versus hey, whack as fuck. Hey, are you Eminem, sure? you know, Eminem hey, has been corny for the last stop. 10 years. No, no you got to stop. Nah. You're not going to tell me that. Eminem ruined that song. All right. All Why right, he so come on the song in the end like he the king of, king of hip-hop? I thought about that, too. I thought, I was like, yeah. fam, if I'm Big Sean, I'm going last. Fam. I, I'm going last. Let me tell you. I, I like I like T. Grizzly I mean, joint. I like T. T. Grizzly, Grizzly came out hot. Came out fire. I fuck with but, T Grizzly. All right, now, now, with all that being said, you know that that cipher joint. It was. I'm just making sure you heard all the features. We could have went without Eminem's verse on that feat on that on that song. Eminem could have stayed his ass home. I'm over. I'm over Eminem. You hate that nigga. I'm over Eminem. Let's get back to his, his ass in the '90s. Let's get let's get back to the, the argument because you. I did say. Nipsey had the best feature. Yeah, you did. You did, and I, I agree. His feature was amazing. It was. It came out of nowhere to me. Damn near made me shed a tear because you know R.I.P. I got emotional. I got it. It was emotional feature. Emotional feature. But Wale came out like this nigga went Super Saiyan three and came out with his hardest bars. I will say this for one, it was longer than Nips. It was, but you know two. Cause I was listening to it. I was listening to the verse like while I was walking my my brother's dog. Uh, that dog barked too damn much. Anyway, uh, when he brought up everybody's names, when he said all the names of those that you know been shot in, he brought up Nip in there. Mm-hmm. And if you really, if you if you ain't listening, you, you probably don't even catch it. Yep. Uh, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Especially for this time, this climate, that verse was important. It was well, I'm not gonna say important, but that verse was fine. Especially because of the relevance of the times. But you gotta understand, Nip, all right, let me let me just break down the beginning. Let me break down this verse. Break, I'll just break, break down, down I'll just break down the first down, ball. break down Nip's verse. Break break I'm, down I'm Nip's a, verse. I just need to I just need to get you the first ball. All right, now when he says, now now fuck rap, I'm a street legend. Block love me with a deep rev. Block love me mm-hmm. with a deep reverence. Now, after he says that, this man said I was birthed in the C section. Hella cops and police presence. Birthed in the C section, nigga. That's okay. that's what. That's double, triple, montage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get, yeah, you're right. You're right. Because you know, after he said that, I'm like, damn, nigga, you right. You crib. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that life. <laughs> you a crib ass nigga. I don't know nothing about that life. Uh you you I, I still gonna stand by stand by uh first of all shout out to Wale DC DMV, Wale Wale DMV I'm, all day. I'm yeah, telling you, Wale Wale's been on his shit lately. I'm Wale excited. Been... I'm excited, uh listeners. Uh we already got a plan. We talking about wow, that's crazy. Next episode. Yes, we next episode we, we will be on and going with wow, that's crazy. Shout but, out to Wale. An amazing out. But let's stick, let's stick to let's stick we're gonna to stick the, with uh, we're gonna stick with Detroit let's too. Stick, let's stick with Detroit too. Um, you got anything anything else to say on Detroit too before we get into the um the bulk of this uh this conversation? Uh well, let uh, me I still ha let's let's hit a couple of these questions we talked about. Let's hit a couple right, of let's, them real quick, real quick. Right, so before, yeah, we back. We back. And, uh, we back. We back to the no, no, uh, no Clarence podcast where we talk about hip hop, we talk about our lives, we talk about it all. We pick an album, we get it, we get into. My it. nigga, this ain't the radio. My nigga, just go ahead. Let's, 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 <laughs> let's, uh, let's, man. We just had to add, man. We had to give, we had to give these people. We got to make them right. happy to come back from my. All right, fans. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to get these good segues and shit, and you just gonna ruin my. Just, look, look, listeners, just grow with us. Just grow just, with us. Just so, my life. let's get into so just some real quick. Right in on my parade. Uh, let's get to some quick punch like questions about the album, real quick. So, yeah, let, me, so let me go ahead and ask you, bro. Uh, what's the what's the song you prefer to play in the car? Um, why don't we just go in order? Uh, nigga, they don't. <laughs> well, I mean, because. 
I w- it's gonna make me confused because now well ed- we're gonna edit this out. We're gonna edit this out. Oh, okay. just let's, let's just go in order because I was pulling them up. So like, all right, go ahead, go here, bro. Right, right. You you go, you go, you go. Well, let's explain what we're about to do first. Explain, explain what we do. So, what we're, what we're gonna do is ah oh, damn. What do you want to call this section? See, this is this is where this is where I was having trouble mm. thinking of. We should call it. Uh, I don't know what we should call it. What should we call it? Uh, this will all be edited out. If, if that's <laughs> any. What's like them sections in the sports joints where like, fuck it, fuck it. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, this is just a section, and we gotta tell them. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out the name later. Well, this is this is the point of the podcast where we get into we 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 we're gonna go. I don't want to say rapid fire, rapid fire, but we're gonna go back and forth. We got some questions to ask each other, and we're gonna we're gonna elaborate. We're gonna speak on them and elaborate on it, and how we feel about this, and how how let's let's get let's get busy. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's get into it. So, um, what you think? You think this album got replay value? You know how like a lot of albums you listen to them one time, and you just you're just like. Damn, I probably won't listen to this again. Or like, or you think you're gonna listen to it every single day, every week, every time you feel down, you gonna just pick it up. What you feel? Uh, that's hard, just because we. I mean, of course, I've been listening to it because it just came out and stuff. But I've also been listening to it preparation for the podcast. So I don't even know. I'm honestly been stuck on Nas album right now, so uh, that's hard to say. I'm not sure. Like my, I hardly really give Big Sean like replay. <laughs> like I listen to it a lot at first, like give it a week, yeah. and then I'm kind of, I'm kind of off it. Don't I think the the one Big Sean album I, I still listen to a lot would be Dark Sky Paradise. I don't know if I've heard anything better. I this is I'm gonna say this is the first Big Sean album I probably replay multiple times just because. Mm. Of the message and the shit he's talking, he's yeah, it's motivational it is, as fuck. It's, it is very motivating. It's, it's very motivating today, and something like that. You need that in your life. You need something yeah. in your life to motivate you, yeah. or something. But you know what? I was listening to the singles even before the album dropped, so I think yeah. I will say, I will say, yeah, I, I get that. I get that to him. So okay, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's how I feel. I think it's gonna be. It's, it's definitely got replay value. It's definitely I. In my personal opinion, I, I believe you got to be played by you. It, it's going to it's gonna. How you think – this actually is a good question. Like, the Generation Z, like, how you think they react to this? I'm Are not they, sure. Like, do they listen to Sean? Like, I don't know. I, see, Sean came out when we was in high school. So, yeah, we, like, oh, he's like our generation's rapper. He's, he's 2010 people in high school and coming up. 2010 to 2020, past 10 years, he's our, like, that's where his demographic. So I don't know how the, how these Generation Z, these young cats be feeling, but I believe that they probably, they fuck with it. They gonna fuck with it. I think as long as you got, as long as you like hip hop, if you, if you like hip hop, you like rap music, they're gonna fuck with it. They'll probably, they won't replay it like crazy though. I don't think they nah. would play like crazy because they like they the way they listen to music is on to the next one next week. And but then they, 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 they I'm, I really think a lot, I mean I know a lot of young dudes, bro. They they really still like well for one a lot of young people they still suck on you know SoundCloud and shit like yeah they <laughs> like, they love they love young, NBA young boy boy they love they love NBA young boy. <laughs> I just feel old like you talking about it, but like I don't even that I era that's just our era. About that man. I, that all yeah, I know is that sense. man got all that man is all I know is that man got a bunch of knots in his forehead and it looked yeah. like he got he got deck. But don't make no sense. Is I don't know, man. It, he looked like he he eat rocks for breakfast. <laughs> all right, we <laughs> he a hard, he's a hard man. He's had it rough, man. That man he looked like he had it rough. Uh, do you think the old heads would would rock with it? Uh, it depends what. What is an old head? Are we content? Are we technically considered old heads? Because we get yeah. up there in age. Old okay. heads. I'm talking old head like like my father. Oh, then like, yeah, at least so because he's rapping, rapping. He's not. He's yeah. not doing what the. He's not doing that melodic stuff that 
a lot of the yeah. our generation and younger really get into. I think it, my father actually like likes Big Sean. I never forget. I'm in the car with him. And I was playing sacrifices, and when Big Sean talked about his like great great auntie being a slave, I just hear my father go, mm. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, Bobby, like, I guess you like that. Mm. I was like, all right. I think I, he rock with it, yeah. I mean, they like bars, man. You just gotta yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, older the older folks gonna they they probably won't know about it because they ain't up to tune. A lot of them don't aren't like. It just depends. Like I know my mama. If they hear it, they'll be into it. They'd be like, "Oh, I think I like this." I was, if I think when we mean old head, like old head that fuck with hip hop, because my mama. I mean, she definitely. Uh, Lord, all oh, this cussing. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would be like, oh, Lord, why, my, why my you got to cuss so much? My grandma has not known what a rapper said, has said since the beginning of hip hop. She, she'll she be like, he he just, he just, he just sings so fast. How you know Jaylen. what he's saying? <laughs> What's he saying, Jalen? What? Oh, man. What, he, what he say? I don't know what he said. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, All right, let's do two more, and then we can yeah. we can do a deeper dive. What what uh what what song you think would have been better if it had a feature from either Kendrick, Drake, or damn, I forgot the oh J Cole. My fault. I don't know how I forgot Cole. I don't know how I forgot that. My fault, J Cole. Oh, don't you ever forget? Uh, I feel so embarrassed. J Cole, don't you ever forget? Well, here's the thing about J Cole. Here's the thing about J Cole. These are the big three. We consider them the big three. Especially right. of our generation, they're the big three. So, who, you, what song do you think would have benefited from a feature from one of these three men? Don Life, uh, Drake would definitely be on Don Life. I could see him on that joint. Get yeah, to the paper that. like a human nature. I could see, I could see Drake on the baddest. Mm. I feel like he could have been on the baddest and just went bar for bar with with Sean. What would have been crazy. Don't mean to cut you off. My apologies. Nah, um, nah, you good, you good, you good. Kendrick on Deep Reverence. Special I was after. just about to say that. If Kendrick was on Deep Reverence. Like after Nipsey, Sean was like, Kendrick, Sean was like, Sean was like, had to call Kendrick, you know, to start the beef and then yeah. Kendrick say something like, Big Sean hit me up. Especially after, after yeah. especially after, after he said how he had to call him after Nip died. Right. That would have been dope been. If, if Kendrick hopped on there. If he got Kendrick to hop on, that would have been that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Um, you know, I'm sure Cole would have been could have killed any of these songs, but I just can't picture him on this joint. Yeah. That might be me. I, mean, I don't yeah, I couldn't picture Cole on any of these songs, to be honest. It, I, mean, I don't even think of J. Cole and Big Sean done, have done, have even done a song together. They just have two very conflicting styles. Put that nigga on body language. <laughs> have, have this nigga talk about folding clothes. Have this nigga talk about folding clothes or body language. Hey, but you know what? I think body language is meant for that. It's meant for... Yeah. I think body Drake language... Drake could be on body language. Drake nah, could be on that. Drake language, could have been on that. Body language is meant for... Body language is pre-game before you get busy. Like Body language is when you like rub your girl feet. <laughs> let her know what's about to happen. <laughs> let, her know, let, her, let her know something about to, something about to come up. <laughs> you don't play that while it's going on. You just be like, look, body, body. <laughs> body. All right. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Last one, man. Like, uh, Worst song? Nah, nah. Why didn't they put a little B on the album, bro? Oh shit! Yeah, Lil B needs to be on the album. If y'all don't know who Lil B is, man, let me explain a little bit. This yeah, is the, the motherfucking bass, bass god, man. Lil Wonton Soup, the bass god. Me, me and my man T are big, big fans of Lil B. Big, big fans of Lil B. And the fact that this man has been shafted over the last ten years of not being able to be on anybody's album is just it's a, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's the, it's just a damn shame. Would he have sounded good on the album? Lil B would sound good on any album. That's my opinion. That, that's that's my opinion. But I don't think he should have been on this album. <laughs> he brought me on. It's not his lane. It's not his lane. It's not his lane. Just just for 
J just for this one. Maybe another one. We'll, 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 maybe this one. Look, look, all I know Not is, to contradict myself, but. All I know is James Harden still ain't won the finals. <laughs> James Harden is never going to win the finals. What are you talking about? Base guy got that curse on him, bro. Yeah, he sure did. Base this guy man will him. never win the finals just because base guy cursed him. That's why you got to show respect to the base guy. Even though he's not really a guy. You know. Just got to put that in there. <laughs> All right, let's get back All into right, it, and we are back now, Jay. Right before we get into the next section, bro, real quick, worst song on the album. I gotta say, even though it's catchy, and this this is going to be on the radio. Wolves is the Wolves is the worst song. You convinced me that Wolves is the worst song on the album. I listened to it again today, and like, I what? <laughs> like I get it, I get the premise. Like I respect the premise, but like it really don't fit. It don't fit at all. It don't. It don't go with rest of it. I mean, he got a fire T shirt for the for the uh, for the T shirt. The T shirt's fire. That's the good. That's the only good part. Um, I got, what's, yeah, what's, I mean, you tried to you, you tried to convince me off air. You tried to convince me Zen ZTFO was it, but like it's got to be. I mean. And yeah, no, no, don't I get me wrong. Like again. wolves ain't wolves ain't terrible. Or nothing. It's just that's just it's just the worst song on the album. Just because it's the worst song on the album does not mean it's a bad song. Here's the thing, it just fam. means it's just the worst song on the album. I mean, Post Malone sounded fine on the album. I'm just like, but if you compare it to all the other features, like Post Malone don't fit. Yeah, he don't. He's not. He's just, in the album, like I feel like somebody this, else with some. This more, is the most white more. people on a hip hop album I've ever heard, seen, listened to in my life. <laughs> Post a M, two. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the most. I, golly, <laughs> shocking. Yeah, you're actually right about that. Shocking, my brother. Um, shocking. Oh, all right, best song, and then I got a random thing that I caught from the album, but best song, go ahead. I'm gonna say "Lucky Me." Mm. That's my favorite song. The the beat switch. Mm. It's crazy, the top, the fact that he's talking about how when he was nineteen he had a heart issue, mm. and then he cured it with just holistic with holistic medicine. Just ha took my magnesium for two weeks and then went back, and it was like, oh, actually, you don't need a pacemaker. That is crazy. That blew my mind. I was like, what the fuck am I listening to? And then the beat switched, and I lost my mind. I was like, oh shit, this is another level. This this that song gets me turned every time I listen to it. That that song is I, I respect that song on the album. I respect it. I mean, for me, it's between Harder Than My Demons. Yeah, I mean, and you, um, you was praising it from it got it's, you. It's, it's hard. It got you my, preaching. It's between Harder Than My Demons and, and Deep Reverence. This one is this between those two. I, and it's just, it's just Sean's like both of the verses. It just feel like the boy just giving out so much game. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy, you know. He, he sure is giving out a lot of game in this. You got. What, what was you got? What, what, what was you about to get into, T? What was, you, what was you about to get into? Oh, so the stories on the album. The stories on the album. So we had Dave Chappelle, Eric yeah. Badu, and Stevie Wonder. Yeah. First off, Dave Chappelle when he. Um, Copy Danny Brown. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! I, I well, you know he's a he a legend. He's he's but he's um, the goat. One thing I noticed was Chappelle from DC. He is Badu from Dallas. Stevie from Detroit. Triple D. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> nah, nah, we gonna fast forward through pause. Oh, we, we gonna die deep. Like the fuck you, the fuck you pausing for? That don't make no sense. Anyway, like, I just found it funny. I just found it funny. funny. Yeah. It was from you know it was all these the, from the <laughs> other D's besides Detroit. So uh, just, Dave Chappelle's story was funny. I liked it. Yeah, it was a yeah. it was a very nice message. Erica Badu sound like she trying to put you in a trance. And yeah, she would. She was on the floor. So. Yeah, she was. She was. It's, I think that's what that's what she did the comment and she did the Andre three thousand. So you know, she, what I don't know what she be doing, but she be Stevie. Stevie, I can't. I'm not feeling make fun of Stevie Wonder, fam. I, I, but you just want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to laugh. Hi, hi, it's Stevie here. It's Stevie. Can't Stevie Wonder, but he you was know. like, and even though I was black, <laughs> <laughs> I could see. I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he said some real stuff, though. He said some he real. Did. 
He did. So he was like, I already done gave you who you are, man. You just gotta just gotta walk with it. But yeah, he's gotta he's keep still, He's gotta keep doing what you're doing. I never forget I listened to a Stevie Wonder album called Inner Visions. Uh, like, yeah, I've never listened to a Stevie Wonder album. I just listened mm. to the songs. Inner like Visions. His, Inner Visions is, is uh his happy birthday is essential. It's the black happy birthday. Happy than, birthday the, the, to you. That's the hotter than July. Hotter than July. Either Inner Visions, Hotter Than July, or um Songs in the Key of Life. You gotta do one of those three. It's off, it's all it's all fire. I think Inner Visions got living for the city. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fire. So I'm gonna throw those recommendations out there for you, sir. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm a, uh, we can I'm end, definitely we can have to check out some Stevie. End of the episode. Go ahead and throw some at me. Uh, now you know if you if you have any. Uh, I, I wasn't. We'll I, wasn't I wasn't. I wasn't prepared for this. I know I, you. I, I, I got really. I just want to test. He's gonna come oh, at me. He's gonna come at me with. I want to test your uh, your musical knowledge, sir. Oh man, see now you're gonna come at me. <laughs> yeah, hot All in the right. kitchen, man. So let's dive deeper, man. Let's dive deeper real quick. And uh, first of all, man, uh, how's life been for you? You know, it's been good. Just working, you know, with this, you know, this COVID and stuff, you know. Yeah. It's actually, I'm one, of, I'm one of the rare people that actually benefited from COVID-19. I think I did too, sir. I was getting hazard pay. Over time, I was making, shoot, I was making more than I usually make. And that's, that was good. Though. And I was working less than I needed to at work. I was at work working less. But yeah. now, you know, everything's picking back up. Yeah, it's yeah. Everything's, everything, everything's opening back. It feels like it's back to normal. Just got to wear a mask. It's all just you a little do. less, still, still a little less traffic, but yeah. um, nah, that's, this, the, only, that's the only reason I know. Me. That's the only reason I know <laughs> we still not open yet. Like, I'm still, like, not in bumper to bumper. So, it's been all good, but, um, <clears throat> you know, the album talk a lot about pressure. Uh, it just seemed like Deshaun just been talking about how he to talk about pressure. He using like metaphors like Game Seven, uh, and it's just you know with everything going on, man. Have you have you felt any type of been feeling any type of pressure lately? You know what I'm saying? Well, not lately. I just think in total, as you know, as black men, you know, we feel pressure on a daily basis. You know, even as a, being a man, like we have, we both have significant others. You're married. I'm, you know, working on it, but you know, you feel the pressure to have to provide for your family and the pressure to, I gotta keep grinding, I gotta keep grinding, I gotta keep grinding. And you, the pressures of, I gotta make sure, even though, you know, we, we have independent women in our lives, you know, they, they work on their own, they make their own money. But at the end of the day, for some reason, we have that pressure of, we don't want them to work. So we will work as yeah. much as, we possibly can, so they can live a life of nothing. Which you is, know, which it's, is a, it's a, it's a thing that like, I really resonates. With. It's something that really, I really pride myself on that. I will work 16, 18 hour days just to make sure I got enough money so the the lady straight. Do you feel appreciated? I, I feel appreciated. I I, I mean. I Do you think I, I feel like I feel appreciated? Do you think because sometimes I, I don't know as I feel um I feel like my my wife I'm learning how she shows appreciation. Yeah. Because me, uh, you know, for one, I was cheap ass, I, I was cheap ass nigga. I <laughs> I used to be, I probably still live. But it's like for me, it's like fam. I pay a mortgage, you know what I'm saying? I pay all the bills. I do all this and that, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it don't feel that reciprocated because sometimes it probably just feel like that's what the hell I'm supposed to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's also like, but still, like, if I don't do it, there's no roof over there, over our head. Exactly. Like, I understand that's my job, but, like, yeah. that's, like, in my mind, that's major. Yeah, but if I can't pay my bills, then I feel like we can't pay our bills. Even you know, though because I mean, because I'm like Christmas come around. Or <laughs> yeah, and I'm Christmas like come around, you be like my man, like I paid a mortgage, like I'd be like I'd like, be dreading it. I'd be dreading it because I'd be like, damn, now I gotta work extra. And then now, and then when you work that extra, 
you feel like you're missing out on things. And then the lady's like, you can work, a, you could have a thousand Wednesdays free, but it will never equal to six Saturdays. Mm. So yes, it's, for those uh, people who work work jobs where they work the weekend, where they have to work through the weekends and they have weekdays off, like myself, that's a tough adjustment, especially when you're in a when you're in a relationship and they they want to do people want to do things, things come up on the weekends and you can't do it because you got to go to work, you got to make that money. I will say this: uh, the the Corona thing definitely put a different type of pressure. Um, yeah. Like Big Sean really talked a lot about like have something that's yours, like do something that you can own. And you know, us for one, us starting this podcast is is something it's, that's 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 one of those things where it's like, all right, let's start actually creating stuff instead of yeah. trying to go get a, another job and having somebody else pay yeah. us like exactly make uh, have our own voice do with something we actually yeah enjoy. it puts the pressure to like because my thing is what corona showed me was your job could go at any leave any second like yeah. you gotta know how to like metaphorically speaking you gotta know how to go fish yeah you can't just you don't can't always go to the store and grab food you gotta learn how to go get it so um, right now it's just a. I've been doing a lot of reading on like different ways to you know get into business and reading on reading the stocks and and then all that stuff. It's just like you gotta. I'm just putting uh, pressure on myself right now to just be smarter, just yeah. work a little, been, not even work harder, just work smarter and making better moves and and make, doing it with with your people. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? Like, making money passive, making it getting a passive income as opposed to. An aggressive income when you actually have to do work and yeah. make money. Make money like, while you sleep. I rock with my job, and I ain't finna talk about my job too much on here, but um, it's just like when nothing worse than having nothing to do, yeah. and you can't go home. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, fam, I'm really just sitting here yeah. because this is, this is the only way I'm getting the full check is because – I'm here. Uh, I'm giving my time. So, uh, yeah, one thing I learned, especially with Corona and then over the years, like, you, you know, they could they could fire you at any second. It really don't matter. Yeah. For no reason. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. Let here you we go. are, you man. Won't, you don't, you won't work. I I know a bunch of people who got laid off and had to just aren't working, just getting unemployment. And it's like, that scared the shit out of me because it's like, what mm. if that happened to me? And it's like, Damn! Now I'm out of a job. I'm working somewhere for utmost for years, and next thing you know, they just let you go, and it's just gone, like, yeah. damn! Now you got nothing, and you're out here. So, just to trying. everybody listening, man, just I think we all have the ability to create. I think um, we just gotta figure out a just gotta, oh, just well, make sure you create and you do something you like, man. There's there's ways to get it. Just start doing something, like do something with your life. I mean, listen yeah. to us first. <laughs> please, please listen to us. Just listen to us. Please subscribe just, and all that stuff. Listen to us subscribe, first. Subscribe, right? you know, share, subscribe, like, oh, do, do all that good stuff. You know, comment yeah. good things. You know, comment good things. I don't, I don't want no bad comments. But, um, you know, I'm open to criticism. We're open to criticism. Oh yeah. Another thing about this album, man, mental health. I mean, of course, yeah, mental health is a very important thing. Real quick, like, do you do anything like techniques for your mental health? Like, I've been reading a lot about meditation, not reading, even reading a lot about it, but um, I read like The Way of the Superior Man, and he's just like, you know, get up every day and meditate for 30 minutes. And I'm like, I don't really got time for that shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's not yeah, like, like that. But time. You gonna meditate for thirty minutes? You gonna have you tried to just sit somewhere and be still for even five? It's hard. It's hard. Damn. It's, just, it's real hard. I don't. I personally, I I don't. I'm very open with my feelings. So oh, when yeah, I am going true. with this song, I you let it out. I, I let it out. I vent. I vent. That's, a, that's, that's, that's definitely the difference between you and I. I mean, we I know vent. that. For I don't a while. hold nothing in. I'll be watching shows and stuff when something horrible happens to a person. I'm like, why don't you just say something? <laughs> to, but I've also had my moments where I've where I've been down and I've had 
my my uh, stints of like depression and things like that and not knowing what to do and who to talk to or even yeah. not even know what was wrong and why I was upset or sad or depressed and just being there like there just laying there in the bed not knowing what to do. and it's tough it's tough I I personally uh I don't I just I get it out eventually it passes but I know there's people out there who get depressed and just that's how they feel every day and it's hard it's hard so this kind of lead me to what the fuck is Zen? Do you know? Uh, Zen. I hear a lot of Zen masters. Phil Jackson. Zen, Zen is like a. Apparently, like, it's like I think it's a it's a it's a being Zen is a state of calmness, a state of being at peace, being balanced, being um, being uh, just it's Zen. It's it's being. I watch a lot of anime, so there's a lot of different uh, terminology. <laughs> like they, they explain it in different ways, but it's all basically being being still, being being at one with uh, being at one, being at peace. Is this being, something um, we should look into yeah. more and ex- experiment with for the listeners? Being Zen is a state of calm attentiveness in which one's actions are guided by intuition rather than by a conscious effort, perhaps that is the Zen of gardening. You become one with the plants lost in the rhythm of the task at hand. I need to do that because my tree dying. Yeah, you don't you got a bonsai tree? In that now? tree, uh, I drowned it, bro. Like, it's you drowned it. You put, oh, tragic way to kill. Why would you? It's not me? dead. It's not dead. It's dying. I mean, if you pour too much water uh, and there's no, yeah, there's I mean, no way I, for the water to uh, go out the root, basically. <laughs> the root. I mean, that's common sense, man. You, no, man, you it wasn't common your, sense. It wasn't common you, sense. You it's kept not. pouring water till it said, "I'm not. I'm not thirsty no more," and you no, kept giving fam, it water. It never said. It never said like. Okay. Trees don't speak, fool. Uh, no, you give a little, little drip drop. drop. Say, all you gotta you do is give a little drip drop. Hey, you know what I'm trying to say. Give a little drip say. drop. That's all you gotta do is give a little drip drop. I was just trying to like, you know, think give, just give it a little drip drop. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. <laughs> just give it a little drip drop. Man. Nah, I gotta actually. I need to. I need to take it out the pot and like do do a whole thing oh, with it now because the joint. You are, like, you are a mess. Like, all right, let's. It's, it, like if you, it will snap, fam. Like, <laughs> I, I was, you know what? It's really my fault because, oh Lord, the same old. <laughs> we'll edit it out, in post. We'll edit it out, in post. What's the beat? We'll edit it out, in post. The beat? She, just... she take care of all the plants, and I was like, fam, it's my tree. <laughs> she tried to tell me what to do. I like it's my tree. It's my tree. I do what I want with my tree. <laughs> my face. Well, maybe you know this is another thing. You gotta listen to your woman, man. I do listen to my woman. The black woman is an all-knowing human being. Stop, stop. We not gonna do that. We, not, <laughs> we, we ain't gonna up. We ain't gonna up our black queen. I always go. up. No, we ain't uh, gonna up our black women. I always up my black women, but all knowing, get the hell out of here with that. All I feel I honestly. Every time I did the opposite of what a black woman told me to do, it felt like I did wrong. I think about nothing, it. Nothing, nothing makes me feel better than doing the opposite and knowing damn well I'm right. Oh my god, you are. <laughs> and mess. when I'm right, let's, they can't say nothing. Let's, ain't, let's nothing get back. Let's, <laughs> ain't nothing like I mean, ain't nothing like being right, and they got nothing to say. Now, personally, I'm just all I want to hear is you right, but I'll never get that. I'll just get. Oh well, that is what it is. <laughs> like, like, yeah, you're right. You are right. Oh my God. Let's let's get it. Let's let's get back into let's 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 wrap this up and let's let's talk about what are your final thoughts on the album? Any final thoughts on to get back to Detroit too? Um any final thoughts on the album? Anything uh, anything else thoughts, you have man, to say? I just want to first I just want to thank Big Sean because I think for, I I think the album was supposed to come out in March. I'm like yeah. he had a whole video talking about Detroit 2 coming in March and then Corona hit and like during Corona I was waiting on it. Like when it first started I was like, "Right, he, he dropping like April, May." I'm like, "When is Detroit 2 coming?" So I just want to, you know, Say, you yeah. know, thank you. First of all, the big shine, man. Um, definitely 
appreciate the wisdom, you know, that just showing his growth and appreciate the gems he dropped on the yeah. album, man. Like, it just seemed like, you know, three years in the making, took time, 21 songs, you don't get, how many songs? 21? He, yeah, 21 songs. He was grateful himself. He was on IG the night the, of the listening party, I want to say, crying because he was so grateful yeah. that he was finally able, that he was able to be, I had to have a career he's had for the past 10 years. 21 song, and bro. You don't, you don't, you don't that's get to a lot of work. Song, I don't know more. And then put the legend Don Kennedy on the end, bro. I, yeah. I think we all forget about it. I know he just did the hook, but. Don uh, Kennedy. Uh, I just appreciate it. I mean, it's probably going to be another like <laughs> three years till we get another yeah, one, but. Probably, but. It's a, this definitely going, it's definitely going to be a rotation. Uh, Man, I mean, it definitely giving us something to talk about for sure. Yeah, for sure. So, my final, my final thoughts on the album is it was great. I'm gonna be listening to it for a long time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be listening to this album for my motivation when I need to do what I gotta do to keep me going. It's, it's one of them albums, man. It's one of them albums I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be one of them albums where they're gonna be talking about for a long time. I think that's how I feel. You know, that's. That's 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 it. That's what I that's what I got to go, man. That's that's all. Well, look, man. Um, dog, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, you know, it's, my it's dog, been great. This is our first hey, episode. First this episode. Hey, don't forget. We got our hiccups. We are gonna keep in some of the hiccups and then take some hiccups <laughs> out, you know. But you know, we gonna keep them in because you know I want y'all to see our growth and our and our as we continue to make this podcast something that we are proud of. I want people to see our growth from. Even video quality, production quality, sound quality, you know, everything like that. We'll, we will be legit podcasters. And <laughs> I don't know how long, but we're going we to get there. We're going to get there. But, um, uh, real quick, good. y'all, uh, follow us. Follow us on No yep. Clearance Pod on Instagram. Is it No Clearance Pod on Twitter as well? Yes. Um, Subscribe, yes, pod on subscribe to the podcast, uh, share the podcast, tell your friends about the podcast if you like it. If you don't like it, tell your friends about the podcast. Yeah. It really don't matter. Just tell don't somebody. Matter. Just, 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 <laughs> just tell somebody, tell everybody, tell tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your sister, tell your brother. Yo, follow me at Tammy Son, Tammy's underscore son on Instagram. I'm thinking about changing this soon, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to change keep it. it. Okay. Think about changing it. Uh, but you gotta help me out with that name, and then follow my man Jay at Tribe Call West. Is that how it go? Yeah, Tribe Call West on both IG and Twitter. Um, my Twitter name different, but don't follow me on Twitter. I need to express myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what this is for. That's what that's what this no, is for. No, I need to talk about shit on, on Twitter. Like, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I will, let's just wrap it up. Next week we will have Wow, That's Crazy by Wale. Thank you for listening. We are truly grateful. Oh, that's it. That's all, folks. See y'all.